So what happened is uh, there were many m- multiple temples that were destroyed uh, during Mughal rule. So there was some very important temple like they are akin to Mecca and Medina for Hindus. Like there's Ram Temple, which uh, which on which Babri was built. Uh, then there's uh, Kashi Temple, which is actually the, the Kashi is the holiest city for Hindus, and it is the main deity of that. Uh, part is uh, Kashi Vishwanath, which is Shiv temple, and then there's Krishna temple. So Hindus wanted to uh, reclaim the three temples from the rule, uh, uh, which were uh, turned into mosques uh, to humiliate Hindus. So they wanted three temples back. So the Muslim side was offered that they will be they will build the largest mosque possible for them. Uh, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, where are you first on it? Yeah, no, so there was an ongoing, so they're just to fill in the gaps, basically. Uh, the one we were talking about was the Guamwapi Mosque, um, which was is basically right next to a temple also. And so what they feel is that where there is a fountain, uh, that used to be a, a shiv we, we, we we talked about last week, and there was an ongoing court case about whether uh, it should be changed back, uh, whether it should have people should have access to it, uh, because it is in a mosque now. Uh, it is in a, a washing area, a wudu area, basically. Um, so, you know, do they need to have it? Do they not? But there was an ongoing court case uh, going on in regards to it. Um, so that's what I brought to Harris's attention. But I think that case uh, which was actually being heard was about whether people could actually pray or go visit uh we covered um, this with so did you saw the atheist republic news we covered this with susanna susanna has more information about this than i do oh okay all right fine no problem Um, on this republic it was same time what well not the same time but on sundays you you go yeah we go we go live at the same time that harris does but which is not ideal, but it's the only time that works for Susanna. Like it's not oh, ideal okay. at all. It is seriously bad that we I have. I kind of have both tabs open, um, <laughs> and, the two, and, and the other one. So I, I do have a little bit of. As a, soon uh, as as soon as Susanna there has a time that works better for her, we'll switch. But Susanna making sure that it works for Susanna takes priority over anything okay. else. Yeah, right. but okay, yeah. I no, but you should watch that segment. It was funny as hell. It was the fun. It was the. Fun, I mean, I think it was funny. I think it was annoying some people, but it got very sexy. I know that's your favorite topic. <laughs> no sexual got... jihad, jihadist. It's it's not my favorite uh, topic <laughs> at all. Sexual jihadist. The topic oh, over like mosques and temples, Hind- Islam and Hinduism. I managed to make it a very sexy, g- generally about penises and coming and washing uh, taking the with you and she was come and all of that so you should watch that it's very oh, good my. and susanna was agreeing well she was party to that conversation it's like she was like, i oh, think okay, she yeah. was a mix of amused and frustrated at the same time which is usually what happens when i go um yeah, but yeah okay i have to go i have to go but okay. let's have that discussion go watch that segment because we already covered this and you know this topic with that susanna i don't know if i could do that because she knows no. all the details and i don't yeah yeah it's fine no, like but for your but but you should you should you should be you should join in the live stream and come oh oxymoron is here actually actually we're gonna i'm gonna have to leave because i just got an email about something that i need to do with regards to iranian protests and stuff but did you want to say something else before we go uh no uh actually can we both discuss and then we leave Oh, you two, you, you, you two want to discuss it? Okay, sure, you two discuss it. You got it. Okay, that was the joke. Well, go ahead then. Oh, you yeah, hi, friendly it. Muslim. Oh, yeah, so hi. I left in between, so I'm sorry. I didn't uh, <laughs> listen to a lot of talks you two were having in between. Yeah, so I, I was just quickly telling people that it was a case that there was a court case uh, and that there was a hearing recently and so I think that's an ongoing situation. Uh, that's yeah, being the, what are your thoughts on it? Um, I, 
it, I, I think at, at the beginning I was like, okay, well, you know, maybe if there was access, then sort of when I saw what the further plans are, they want to start digging under walls now. They want to start digging here. No, and, uh, no, Hindu Hindu side is saying that they will, they, the mosque will be dis, uh, demolished. They just yeah, don't, don't want access. Uh, yeah. They want the mosque demolished and the temple uh, replaced. So do you think yeah, it's a no, good idea? I don't, I, I don't think it's a good idea. I think it's, it's uh, things have... But do you, know, think, uh, do you think it would be better? It's justified uh, for Muslims to have uh, their place of worship, uh, which is on the holiest of Hindu grounds. I think historically it's been there, um, you know, and so I think that's that's so would you condemn uh, uh, the most Hindus who want their uh, holy side back I, I I don't think I mean my opinion is that I think for that particular situation I don't feel that there's any reason for it um I I don't think there's um it leads it, it's sort of you're going back thousands of years um and no 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 this, this is this is like foreign clips so this is like 400 years. Okay, well, four hundred years ago, I mean, it's just it, it happened. Um, so, you know, do you condemn Prophet Muhammad for doing something similar at Mecca? Because the logic was saved. So, RSS is was, sort of inspired by Islam too. So, do you condemn Prophet Muhammad uh, for breaking down the pagan temple and building a mosque? What pagan temple? So, the mosque, box, the mosque. In the Mecca, it had idols in its side. It wasn't the Kaaba. Exactly He's talking about the, the Kaaba. Kaaba. The Kaaba. So it had idols in it, and then from what I understand, the it was a pagan was... temple. He was a pagan <laughs> temple. He came and turned it into a mosque. It's. I mean, it's well. It, the majority of the people there were then Muslims. And what had taken place? So as no, far no, as no. I, I, I think the campaign. What when the campaign happened, most people weren't Muslims. So, and the logic doesn't fit in because even today the most people are Hindus, and it's actually very generous one because it's not, the mosque doesn't have any real importance for Muslims. It has for Hindus. So don't you think that's problem? Survived four hundred years, uh, it being the way it was. Okay. Um, no, and, oh, this is a, this isn't the first time it was destroyed. It has been destroyed like ten or twelve times. Hindus have always attempted to reclaim it. Okay. This so is I'm not, not the first time. Okay. So how many times has it been destroyed? And they've I think ten or eleven it? times at least. How many years? Uh, uh, I think since second or third Islamic invasion of India. Okay, so I think I think you've you know it's it's gone on. Would you keep on trying to reclaim history backwards and forwards? I don't think it's okay. Friendly Muslim, he's but, no no. Friendly so, Muslim, you're so. not like you're, friendly Muslim. You're not you're not understanding what he's saying. You know, you say if you are being consistent, you're like okay, fine. If it has already been a certain way, because we don't have to change it, but because we don't have to bring history and change it. Okay, and you're saying let's agree with the standard that you're having. And he's saying, can we apply that standard right now to what Muhammad did? Because if you agree that that's not a good standard, they're all like, oh, this 400 years ago, this was something else, so we should change it, right? So Muhammad also came in and said, like, okay, you guys try to understand this Kaaba thing. Abraham had built it for Allah, not for your pagan stuff, okay? You guys are doing pagan worship in Kaaba, but this was meant for Allah. So if, you're, if we apply your standards, Muhammad should have been like, well, that was a long time ago. So now it's a pagan temple. So let it be a pagan temple if we apply your standard. That's what, right, Aksimura? Is that yeah, what you're so saying? I was asking if he would condemn Prophet Muhammad for doing similar something. Well, so as, as I understand it, a uh, very good attempt. I saw this attempt on Indian channels trying to catch Muslims out with this uh, this. Uh, uh, it's not trying to catch question. a Muslim. No, 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 no. This is my if, logic. Uh, it's so. like if, if we can get a Muslim to condemn the Prophet, then look, we've got you. It's, it's, it's. Uh, let okay, me, that's uh, hold on. Um, that's not. That's such that's a exactly bad response. Is. Friendly Muslim, oh, hold not, on, Wait, hold it's such on, a bad response. It's I've such a bad happen. response. But then why is he duplicating? 
Do you want to do an interview? Because it's a fair because question. It is. Hold on, Alex Mario. Give me a second. Give me a second. It's a fair question. If somebody is noticing, like this is when people say when they don't have a good response, okay? If I notice a double standard, okay, and I bring up that double standard, your response should be like, why to show why it's not a double standard but instead of you know because people are asking if your if your standards are consistent but your response is like oh you just want me to say like to catch well, a muslim I, to condemn I, muhammad well i get it yeah, i mean it's, it's the point well done. that's the the point is like what what do you mean like is that a response so for example, no, let's say for example, hold on, friendly Let Muslim, friendly Muslim. What you, oh, okay, okay, but that your first response is not a good one. If you come oh, to it, me, let's say wasn't. for example, let's say let's say I condemn if I condemn Muslims for doing violent things, right? And then Hindutva does violent things, right? And I don't condemn them, right? And you come to me and say, Armin, why are you condemning Muslims for doing violent things, but not Hindutva for violent things? And then I respond to you like, oh, all you want to do is to catch me. Oh, was this your gut you? You want to get me to condemn Hindutva? Is that what you're like? What kind of a response is that? Obviously, it's a good question. There may be oxymoron is copying other people because they're asking they're, the people who he's copying are asking good questions. Okay, go not on. a problem. I get it. And I, and I, I, I don't appreciate your... Uh, 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 your uh, when you when you mock not mock me but when you repeat what I say I, I mean better of a British accent you know you make me sound very soft and very near when you when you repeat what I'm saying but yeah fine okay I'm in well I, I wasn't understand. trying to do that I know I know I just want you to put a bit more English accent when you're repeating what I'm oh, saying oh you want but me to do put in the, you want me yeah, to use like, English accent some, yeah put a more gusto in it like let's, let's you know I don't know how you, to do accents Okay, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so okay, so I'm going to answer that they were two different scenarios in my view, and I'll tell you why. So as far as I understand, that the consensus uh, of the people at the time was it was okay to change it back uh, for the actual purpose of not having idols. That's my understanding of it. I may have to research it further, but that that's the answer of. Uh, I got from yesterday. To change it back um, for the sorry, say that again. To per, change it back for the purpose <coughs> of not having idols. Yeah, yeah, that was the what had happened. The consensus of the people were it was fine that this was the majority there now, and that it not having a, idols in the it was a majority was by force. Uh, it came with the army. Yeah, okay, but, but they, and, they were not. And also, India is now majority Hindu too. So if you want to yeah. go with majority, if you want to appeal to, if you are trying to appeal to majority, then the, in in India, people could say like, okay, sure. That now we are majority Hindu, and the majority would like this to be a temple. So if you want to appeal to majority, okay, but then they are operating under a secular government. So therefore, if it's uh -oh. there, then and it was protected also uh, legally. That mosque. Uh, is protected legally. Um, uh, am I correct? Yeah, so, no, no, no. so the legal argument is different. I'm just raising a moral argument. Uh, there could be a legal argument raised that there wasn't a temple. Uh, there was the mosque cannot exist on a temple because they cite some hadiths where it says that it's wrong to demolish a tem uh, demolish a temple, and there cannot be a pagan structure uh, inside a mosque, which there right. is. The so walls friend, of the mosque are very, very pagan in origin. Okay, friendly Muslim, you cannot appeal to the law right now because the argument that we're making is what is more, what law would be the more moral law. So just because something is legal doesn't mean it's good. We're trying to figure out what is the most moral law to have, right? Okay. So and we're looking point... at the Prophet as a role model to see if Prophet Muhammad would be a good role model to see what would be the most moral outcome what would be the most moral thing to do because if we use prophet muhammad as a moral guideline it would make sense right now that we have we should turn this mosque into a temple by force you don't have to apply every aspect of of that as the the um okay, well, situation well, I mean, so I, I, I agree, I agree, I agree, I agree, I agree, I agree, I agree. 
So you could, okay. if you, you could condemn one of them and condemn, not condemn the other one. However, you have to explain why. Okay. So I think if somebody is like, okay, I condemn this, but not the other because there are differences, then the audience, the person that is listening to that would expect to be like, okay, sure. There must be differences, but then you have to explain the differences that makes one of them condemnable and not the other. Okay. So there's another hadith that comes to mind where they said that uh the prophet peace be upon him uh would have either changed the shape um of the kaaba if it had been his way and and or the door would have been lowered uh but for 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 it not being of the people's will and not to cause a problem within the people i i i left it because of the, the general consensus of the people was that it was to be left um alone so I would have to research it more to okay consensus. Point. Yeah, you want to you okay if you want to appeal to consensus, then that that also should be a temple. Most Indians are Hindus, and if you appeal to consensus, they would want that thing to be a temple. Then okay, I mean if that's the way, if we're if we're if that's oh. their point on it, then that's a fair. So you you fair think the majority if in to... India the majority forced their way upon Muslims. So majority rules like so if what if in, in in india people want to just turn every single mosque into a temple just because it's majority consensus you will appeal to them you will be like okay sure let's get rid of every single mosque in india i mean i don't think it would be um i don't think everybody wants that in india um if it does okay. happen so, then so we can confirm with consensus. this temple with this temple with this temple you mm -hmm. we are getting you on the side of hindutva then because you're saying that if the majority of Hindus in India want this to be a temple, you're 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 agreeing with their side. No, I'm not, I'm not. See, this is the, the the issue I have where you try to put two different times, two different frameworks. Um, yes, we agree that they're say, two different frameworks. You agree if they with are. This. Okay, exactly. but can you explain the difference between are, the two terms, frameworks? If if uh, we they're agree that temple. because they're different, we agree. So any Muslim, we, I mean, we made this claim. We agree that because they're different, okay, mm -hmm. maybe, maybe diff, maybe it's not fair to say you have to be consistent, okay. But if you are right, then we we expect to know what the difference is that makes it different that you can pass different judgments on them. Okay, so we I, agree. I, You're right. These are two different scenarios. Maybe they require two different solutions. You're right. Yeah, but we because... don't. Me and Oxymoron are not seeing the difference that would require two different judgments. If you're seeing it, let us know what it, what that is. Okay, so one was a legal uh, agreement that the mosque would not be changed. Um, I don't know if there was okay. a legal agreement in place at the so, time. Or okay, no, when you say the problem, okay, the, it, 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 what you're saying doesn't make sense. Legal, okay. At that time, we had social agreements. Okay, so a law is a societal agreement. Okay. So the equivalent of that at that time would not because we didn't have courts and judges and stuff. And the equivalent of that during the time of Muhammad would be a social agreement. And yes, we did have a social agreement equal to what we would consider a law right now that this, the, the, this Kaaba is a place of, for worship for any god, including Allah. The Qurayshis were tolerant to accept the worship of Allah at Kaaba. The only thing is that they wanted to worship other gods there as well. They were very tolerant. They were like everybody could worship whatever the god they wanted over there. Muhammad was saying that they would no, only Allah could be judged over here. They included Allah in the gods that you were allowed to worship. Quraysh's would allow it. So the contract, this was a contract that society had over there. So Muhammad was doing something that was illegal. The law at that time over there was like, everybody comes. This is a place where all traders come. We sell goods. We buy and sell things. And everybody comes and worships their, their God of choice. Muhammad went against that law. That he violated that law by force, removing all other gods and saying that by force, only Allah can be worshipped here. But he didn't just go in straight. There was a, a breakdown of the treaty, right? So it wasn't like the first time he just went in and that was it. Like they weren't the allowed to go The breakdown of the there. treaty. Yeah, yeah. The break. Okay, the treaty was signed by force as well. So the treaty was signed because Muhammad was getting more and more powerful with his with his army, right? 
but they didn't allow them to go for their Hajj and uh, twice, right? That was the yeah. Un- but you don't. But you don't okay. you, to fix that wrong. Okay, you can't do wrong to other people. Let's say, let's say, for example, the Qurayshis had no right to refuse people to go do Hajj. Okay, that's wrong. Okay. But then that doesn't make what Muhammad did justify because now Muhammad is forcing other people who had nothing to do with the betrayal of this treaty, who had gods that gods there that they wanted to worship. Like there, there's like little old lady that had a favorite god in Kaaba that wanted to go worship, right? She had nothing to do with the violation of this treaty that some other dudes right, had with Muhammad. And now she's being forced to worship Allah, nothing but Allah at the Kaaba, even though she had like, what the hell, what, what, the treaty, what treaty? I didn't do a treaty. Why can't I worship my own God? My, the, the, fir, the favorite idol that I used to worship is now broken. Thank you very much. Also, uh, since 1992, Hindus aren't allowed to, to worship inside uh, the Kaaba. No, what, uh, sorry, no, the, the temple. So the, there's, again, we can draw a similarity. What right does Muhammad have? What right does Muhammad have to tell that little old lady to not worship a certain uh, goddess? Okay, she had a really, you know, had a favorite goddess that she worshipped, and Muhammad has now forcing her to worship Allah only at Kaaba. Okay, over some treaty that she had nothing to do with. But wasn't it a treaty of based on the tribes and all the people that were there? So therefore, her well, being part of that society, they had an agreement in place. That's such a collectivist mindset. She, she, that's guilt by association. Just because she belongs to a tribe that some other men, that she has no p- political power. She has no decision-making power. She just belongs to this tribe. But she has no right to worship her God now because some other old men had set an ag- some agreement and some other, other men... This uh, some by the way, the violation of the treaty was just a few members of one ally tribe, not the entirety of the people that signed the treaty. Now all of a sudden she has been forced to not be able not not have the choice to her religion. So Muhammad comes and says, like, to you, my religion, to, to each one to their own religion, everyone is free to choose their religion. But now he's forcing us to worship Allah only at this Kaaba. Like ever since ever since she was a little girl she used to remember worshiping this god at this kaaba thing with her mother she has really good memories of it and that the same guy that says to you to you to us for our religion and to to you your own like everybody's free to their own religion same guy is showing marching up with an army to our city and is telling us that we can't worship anything but but his god at this place that i grew up in this is my home my city my family my religion that is being taken away from me. Our idols are being broken in front of us because we've been defeated, because they had the, they, because might is right apparently. They had the bigger army, so we just have to submit. Right. So we are at, at the phase of. Exa- okay. Well, I mean, I take on board what you say. I need to, I want to, I want to double check certain things before you. Uh, like, it's yeah, a good question, I mean, but, but do you agree? Like, it, yeah. like once you get past the idea, oh, you just want me to condemn, got you, condemn Muhammad. You have to admit mm-hmm. it's a good. Even if we are wrong, let's say for example, you go look into this and you come up with a solid answer, and we're like, you defeat us, okay? Mm-hmm. It is a good question. Can you admit that? I I I, I feel in some ways it's defeatist because uh, we keep on going. Well, it 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 belongs mm-hmm. in this time. This was happening. Here we've got a completely different situation. So you should go back and you should get this action historically because this is where we are here. And I, I don't think they're exactly the same. In all, we know in all that aspects. they might not. We know that they might not. I mean, like, okay, I, I just spoke Persian for a second. You understand that moral <laughs> consistency makes sense, right? You want to be morally consistent. Do you value moral consistency? I, I want to study what moral consistency um, okay, is okay. fully... Yeah, I think mean, okay. sometimes okay. you use we that's acknowledge about like like in we... terms of oh, hold on whoa what's a feisty relax all right so look, Muslims that's not mm. very nice of you you act like people are not being nice to you but you like no, you I come know. back Just, let, there's a delay in let, the audio people are not interrupting you there's a delay in the audio when you come back and you know you're so, you're so snarky you're not very friendly not when snarky. you tell people like I'm not snarky, no when you tell right. people when you people like oh so feisty relax I know, I that like is having, not uh, friendly 
Oh, that is not oh. friendly. Yeah. You tease me. I'm teasing you. Also, while we're having a little conversation, I'd like to keep it light. I mean, you know, we must That's around, not right? light. That's how, okay. that's you know, you know that gets to people sometimes. You know that, right? Okay, I'm no, I'm not. I thought we were we were good that I could call you a little bit feisty and we're we're. I it I am with you, but humorous. I don't know oxymoron. Okay. Like I I can see like because you were responding to oxymoron like that. You know that that could get on people's nerves. I mean, oh. it's fine if you guys are friends and you get, but it just. I, it I mean, just does it, 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 it comes not... across as a little bit like not friendly. I just let you know. Yeah, but go on. Okay. All right. Sorry. I'm trying to figure out where, where the lines are. Oxy, are we cool that we can have a little bit of playful talk or, or are we being very serious at the moment? Just just, uh, just go on. I don't I'm mind just... I don't mind anything. Yeah. You can just yeah. give me good reasons. Do you so want me not I to like tell you? Good. Do you want me not to tell you if what you're saying could come across as snarky? If you want me not to tell you, no, that, you I can. Wanna... No, no, you yeah. can do it. It's okay. fine if you okay. feel that way. Then I don't I'm feel. Not... I, it's not about me. I'm just giving you some tips if you want. If okay. you don't want to, I will okay. just stop. No, no, you, you're fine. You can, you can tell me. I'll take okay. it on board. Um, okay. Right, where were we, Oxy? Um, uh, sorry, I lost my. So I wanted That's to fine. ask you this. Given on whatever information that is available right now, so can you give mm -hmm. a provisional reasoning that if Hindus should have a temple there, uh, or was Prophet Muhammad wrong? Because the theme is exactly similar. Uh, so I, 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 I think, think Freddie was. Well, that, that's oh, you my personal opinion. I don't think they are. Um, similar. Um, in, in terms okay. of the situation that's going on. on Can you explain the, of, the difference? Yeah, for the I don't think for what's going on in terms of the people, uh, the setup that's there in the country at the moment. I, I I personally thought if they wanted to worship, they wanted to worship the outside wall, or and it, it didn't disrupt anything. Then I thought that was fine. That really wasn't an issue. I thought that was okay. Um, even if people wanted access, uh, part of me was like, okay, well. Is there a way they could arrange it? Could they facilitate it that something's moved back? I thought, okay, well, that, that might be a possibility. So I, I was also of the thought that, well, maybe they facilitate them accessing that particular area that they wanted to. But then it was like, okay, well, now we want to uh, demolish it and then we want to move them somewhere. And then I was like, well, okay. are they going to do this for every place? It's legally no friend protected. Muslim. I agree with you with these things, but you're not explaining the difference between this and Muhammad. Muhammad did. You said they're different, I, but you're not explaining I, what. I believe the consensus. I my ch challenges are that there are different aspects in play, other than just okay. Well, majority rules. So if majority okay, we rules, know, but what are the different? Can you you keep saying different aspects, <laughs> but you're not telling us what those are? What the difference? I believe are. I am. I don't know where I'm. I'm okay. missing the point. Okay, tell me again. Time. What are the different? You say there are different aspects. What are those differences? Because this is a real life situation of um, well, access. Real life, I suppose. So maybe I'm not, I'm not firing on on all Ma cylinders. Wait, on, Muhammad's on story was not real life. No, it was real life, but this and it wasn't was about that access. They came in when... and they decided as a consensus, as per my understanding, maybe wrong. That Which one, the Muhammad or... was, yeah, for, for the prophet, peace be on from them. That the consensus was that find removing the idols, etc., out of that and changing uh, the inside function was was. Part of the consensus okay you know, of the friend, i'm not gonna bother you about this but you we address the things that you said okay muhammad's okay. story right. was also real life according to muslims it was also about mm -hmm. access and if I, and if you want to appeal to consensus then in india if we appeal to consensus then we have to take the um hindu side and not the muslim side right well, so we already addressed this. you're repeating yeah, you're we, saying yep. oh, okay. Okay. okay so if they so vote you, then you that, yeah okay so you're happens. saying you, Okay, okay. So you're agreeing that you will agree with changing the mosque to a temple. That would that would make you consistent, okay? I, we, I if just they had maybe a you vote, don't want to. Yeah, okay. Yeah, if they had a vote, and the majority of the country agreed with it, uh, then that may be a possibility that that happens. Uh, personally, okay, okay. if I don't they gonna, are. Okay. Okay. So, so uh, you know, I don't want um, I don't want to like bother you too much because this is you're not you're not very used to this, and you, I don't want you to like. Mm, 
feels a lot of pressure okay because if you were someone else that had experience with the base and stuff i would like go and like do you understand that like this is the consequences of what you're saying right now but the fact that you tried to be consistent uh, i just want to celebrate that and just actually what do you think because that would make him uh, consistent, right? uh, i think this is actually good uh, this is better yeah. than that but i expected yes. his own personal opinion not the process itself what would he would for when he was around. What do you mean? What Muhammad? You mean? What, huh? No, no, no. If uh, uh, the friendly Muslim was uh, in India, what would he vote for? If there was voting done? And why? Oh, that doesn't matter really, because if, if he's submitting to the majority rule, even if he did disagree, if the vote was... But yeah, if you want to answer, I don't think that matters. But friendly Muslim, if you were Indian uh, Muslim, would you vote for it to become a temple or would you vote for it to remain a mosque? Um, I would vote for it to stay a mosque for the general yeah. uh, society yeah. of the people. I, I mean, I would yeah, it... vote for people working together to try to find solutions. Um, that's my, my ethos on it. So, I mean, I would vote was... for it to be a, both a mosque and a temple at the same time, just like how the Kaaba used to be before Muhammad ruined it. Okay, so yeah. tomorrow if uh, Arabs turn pagan, some Arabs, would it be possible to bring no, it Okay, like, Aksumar, you're exhausting. Friendly, like, if we, we want to keep friendly Muslim friendly. So don't, don't, <laughs> ex don't, ex he's not used to, like, he's not like, this is, he's new at this. You don't want to exhaust his, we don't, we, we, he, the fact that he actually entertained this, this much, because um, he's, he's very, he's a delicate flower. And he, no, 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 <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised. You know, like, I'm, su just... I'm surprised that he stood us with us this long because I thought he was like, listen, you. I thought at the, in the middle of it, he's gonna be like, I don't appreciate being cornered like this. I don't know. I have. I don't have experience with this. I'm just here to make connection with people. And you guys, I feel I'm being attacked here. <laughs> I thought you're gonna do that, yeah, no, no, but I you mean, didn't. I I, so you're great. You're getting better at this. I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm a little bit. I am a little bit grumpy. I've had a like, lack of sleep over the last couple okay. of days, so I'm a little bit okay. uh, off. Off the, you know. So I'm not like. Haven't had my my tea, uh, you know. So like I'm like snappy in a way. Okay. So, um, I was just covering the Iran thing, um, and that was important to me. You're more British than Muslim because <laughs> you've got to have my tea, <laughs> you know. Okay. And. Um, oh yeah, I'm a bit croaky at the moment. So, like, yeah, okay. fine. Grab your teeth. Um, but yeah, I was, I was, you know, again, keeping it light. Also, I, when I was saying mm -hmm. feisty, it was just playful talk. I wasn't in the middle of the whole uh, debate. So, if you felt any kind of way, Oxy, um, then yeah. you know, don't be. I do want to keep these things like serious and light at the same time. Um, you know, uh, we are exploring thoughts. So um, I'm I'm all good. With but, that, go, so. but go but go consider thinking about this than what Muhammad did because it's what it's like I don't think it was what he did was justified the fact the way he forced his religion upon the people right so okay. it's, when it comes to worship breaking idols and stuff it's very inconsistent with the Quranic verse that's supposed to that you're supposedly have to are allowed to choose your religion breaking like. Um, I when I burn the Quran, right? I pay for the Quran, right? It's my property. I own it. I never go and take anyone else's Quran away from them and burn it, right? But when Muhammad broke idols, these were other people's idols. He broke other people's property. Okay. okay. So, so there's a major. Point, so I am happy to revisit certain topics. So like now yeah. we've covered this. Like I'll research more. And, you know, yeah, obviously good. we can go have revisit and go, okay, fine. You know, fine. I had that position, okay. but, but I'm happy to research further and be like, okay, well, fine. I'm solid on my argument, why there's differences and, and why I'm of this. I'm more than you know, ready for battle uh, now, but, you know, so I yeah. gave general answers. But next time, can I, you know, if... Yeah, yeah, yeah good, so, good, good. Can I, can I give you a tip, mm -hmm. right? You know, it's a very respectable position in the middle of an argument, even a he heated argument, to say, mm -hmm. hey, actually, that's a very good point. I haven't thought about that. I'm going to go think about this and look into this, right? And I, But I think when it comes to the topic of Islam, 
all right acknowledging that the other person has a good question or is like bringing up a good inconsistency might be giving in too much because then you're putting you're questioning islam sometimes i feel like muslims if you're debating some other topic that they you know have a position and you're disagreeing with them and you kind of challenge them and they don't have a solution uh, they are ready to say like hmm yeah that's a good point i haven't thought about that but when it comes to islam they don't do that that much because that would be questioning islam you know i can i can i'm i'm, I'm happy to review some a situation uh, i know i know, know but, like i had those two hadith but, yeah, but no, you had the, it, you I, had I, a way out in the middle of our discussion a couple of times that you could have taken the, your way out was like hey oxymoron that was that's actually interesting i i don't know how to answer that i'm going to think about it that is a very respectable answer it's not a defeat if you tell that to your opponent that is not seen as defeat uh, people see that as a, as strength to admit that you haven't thought about something in front of an audience is a show of strength it's not a show of weakness but i would have said what do you think about it right now yeah, it's fine. You can change I'll, your opinion, but I would like to hear opi your opinion. Uh, okay, I will give you another tip, my friend Muslim. I would say that I know you would like to hear my opinion, but I'm not comfortable giving an opinion until I have thought about it more. Oh, okay, fine. Uh, but then I thought that would have been categorized as waffle. And oh, look, he's no, 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 no. Out of it. He doesn't you want to like, answer. But, oh, yeah, right, no, no. If, well, people, if people say waffle, I'm like, yeah, I am. I am. I am. Because it's not because I don't have. I would rather give an answer when I have thought about something. So, yeah, I am. I am. Um, I, I am. Okay, you, you heard it now away. in the chat, people. That, that's a, that's a non-waffle response. So if you want to <laughs> you know, ponder it, that's fine. That's not me running. That's not me running like a track star. That's just pondering it. I'm wanting to give a better definitive answer. So for next time, <laughs> Armin's giving give a couple also, of things. Uh, if I hurt you, uh, I'm really sorry. I didn't really. No, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm not uh, that uh, person, Oh, that's so sweet, Axumar. And you're fun. getting better uh, at I this. didn't really want to offend Prophet Muhammad, but I was just contextualizing oh, no, so you understand. Screw it Prophet Muhammad. Who cares uh, about yeah, him? Yeah, 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 We're talking yeah, about yeah, friendly well, Muslim. That was don't, don't, okay, but, that, I thought you're gonna what? say I'm sorry if I hurt you, not offend Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad's no, dead. but then that's okay. That. It's all good oh. community like if, if, if to have your questions answered on the next live stream, become my patron today. You can do so with as little as one dollar a month. Link in the description below.